Right now it's raining and I just wanted to say um, I'm doing a whole video of Melly because I just found out recently a while back that there is a costume that's based off the Russian Empire which is Melly's first S tier, Sophia and we're gonna talk about that and show an image of Sophia so then y'all get the you know acknowledgement that she's based off the Russian Empire and Nettie's kind of has a habit of romanticizing some cultural aspects of other nationalities and backgrounds as, along with other ethnicities. And they like to occasionally romanticize some like traumatic event that happened within their history or they'll like like show a specific costume on them that like in a way it shouldn't be there because it was like it was taken from another media and shown in a way that doesn't really respect their culture which is not okay we need to do better with like calling netties out and i'll say this once it's not idv's fault that this is happening it's netties's fault because they put that on there also, I'm also playing this match with a favorite Twitch streamer of mine. I will be um, promoting him at the end of this video. So you guys will be able to see how much I appreciate him for letting me have the opportunity to play with him. So this is everything we've been learning about the Russian Empire so far. The Russian Empire is a historical empire founded on November 2nd. October 22nd old style in 1721 after explaining the title of that in the beginning the thesis of it basically I will be typing in the rest because it's a lot to read and I honestly do not want to mispronounce any words I've looked maybe on, on most of my videos I've I've mispronounced some stuff and also did talk about all of them but I also made sure to like write everything down and take a picture of it I want to continue doing that and I don't want to mess that up for you all as the viewers, just in case if like I mispronounced anything or like misinformed you all, I don't want that to happen. So I'll be sure to just write everything down and have it screenshotted or, or you know, linked in the description below. So continuing on with this, I will just be silent and then once I'm finished showing you all the details i will then take over and continue speaking and if you hear anybody in the background that's just me listening to forever nina also chiming in to say that all that stuff i'm talking about it's just talking about like a whole beginning summary of like the empire it's talking about different topics and i know we're talking about sophia aka melly so i'm gonna show you who sophia is based off of and who melly is also based off of with so Sophia as like combined human being well a combined reference is what I meant to say like as a reference to the actual Sophia because she's really beautiful like I have a picture of her and I have a whole like um description for her as well so I will I will put it up right now Okay, and before anybody says anything, there are two Sophias, so Nettie's could have whole been referencing both of them, because there's one Sophia who looks exactly like that, but there's another Sophia as well, who was also a part of the Russian Empire, and she was in the process of fleeing, so my thing is, is that the Sophia that I'm referencing, sorry about that y'all, they will be in the description down below, there's like three there's gonna be three websites in the description if y'all want to do y'all research by all means but just know that this video is literally a learn a educational learning process for all of us i'm just now learning about the russian empire and i'm just now learning about these two princesses along with a few other people like like the like the princes and then the the leaders of the empire i'm learning a lot and it's honestly very very interesting how like each person had to go through their own struggle like the sophia that i'm reading about she had to deal with um going through like a whole like situation with like not being seen as reliable with her with her like family they were like trying super hard to like go against her 
it came to a point to where that veal that Sophia in the essence wears that's actually accurate they tried her and it compelled her to wear the va- the vial or the veal yes the veal it compelled her to wear that it was like somewhere at the end of like having to go through all this versions real quick i don't want to like she had to wear mess anything up so that version that's one version and the definition before the picture i'm gonna bring it up here like the one that's up right now that may be correlated to the other so brother did you guys see what i mean they were basically just going through a whole process of like literally trying to dismantle this whole situation of like discriminating against her because she was a woman and at the end of it when she thought she finally like broke that down they decided to retaliate against her rebellion and they basically forced her to wear a veal to like not show her face i guess she was compelled to it it doesn't go any more further than that the thing is that she was trying so hard to dismantle that and then we see the other sophia who's just like fleeing for safety because of because of some political situation going on that also may have involved a civil war and from what i'm reading so far it, it was bad it was pretty bad if she had to flee with her husband and literally try to find a way to just be safe then that's something that like i'm not saying Nettie should have should have talked about it and like made it their whole mission to like talk about it but i'm saying that like if you're gonna talk about different situations that involved a person's background especially something like the russian empire you gotta do more than just than just like make a costume and glamorize it and then not even have like a whole description about it because with with the other costume like chi chi's costume there was a whole background and story plot behind it that involved ghosts and and i respect it it was basically a whole like celebration where you had to avoid wearing red otherwise the ghosts would be offended while in chinese new year you need to wear red because it represents good luck you see how i you see how i know this off the back of my hand usually i'd have to read something but since i didn't and since they gave me the info and wholeheartedly was willing to like show us this representation i'm willing to like say it with pride because i i know i know what to say and i know that and i know they were willing to offer me this wow with the with the empire i i don't know much about it i'm even struggling to even talk about it because i'm ignorant of it and i need 
people of that group to like talk about it like the russian empire is a, a heavy topic and i feel like talking about it may be something that like nobody wants to talk about because it it brings back historical trauma or maybe it just like it brings up topics that just could be uncomfortable for others and i get it i understand that it's it's the same with with everything going on in my community we don't we, we fun fact um everything that went on during some big events that involved war or involved no i can't call that war that involved people getting harmed a whole group getting harmed which is not okay it caused historical trauma which is real look it up and uh, this video has gone on long enough i'm just gonna end it with this I, I i respect everybody and i hope everybody understands that like if you want me to do your culture or like talk about it just give me the links i will make sure to do research on it and i will talk about it and if there's any character on here who correlates to that or you relate to that correlates to like your whole like community or your culture or your ethnic background be sure to let me know in the comments i will be sure to talk about it and talk about that group and be respectful about it okay so we're gonna give a shout out to my favorite twitch streamer Dalmas. he was actually the guy i was playing with in the first game and he was um playing with the once skin luca and i really like that skin it's very cute and all i gotta say is that i hope he has a wonderful day and i hope he doesn't mind me shouting him out i just want to shout him out because he's a youtuber that i respect wholeheartedly <sighs> now moving on i'm just gonna say i hope everybody has a good night be sure to watch down this on twitch and you can also check him out on tiktok and be sure to like sub and share and i will be sure to talk more about other topics involving the background of these characters and and i will put everything in the description below i need to start on the next video about mario rabbits and like voice actors and all that stuff somebody requested that and i didn't forget it's just been a struggle as it's real anyways i hope y'all have a good night and a good day i'll see y'all later bye whittles